Prince Harry Shock, world's best matchmaker wanted to sign him up before he met Meghan. Prince Harry was hoped to be a potential client for a woman described as the world's best matchmaker. Laura Asprey, formerly known as the Sloan Arranger, is said to be responsible for arranging dates for several high-profile clients. The Mail Online reported Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, met Harry and began a relationship before Ms. Asprey could bag Harry. She explained, We have friends in common and I had lots of people for him, then he was introduced to Meghan, someone else got there first. It is believed the matchmaker for the Sussex couple was Violet von Westenholtz, daughter of former Olympic skier Baron Piers von Westenholtz, a friend of Charles, Prince of Wales. Other sources claim it could have been Mishian Anu, a close friend of Meghan, whose estranged husband Alexander Gilkes was a friend of Harry's from Eden or Meghan's Canadian friend Marcus Anderson. Ms. Asprey said Harry appeared to have found happiness himself, had I met her I'd have seen it because they're great together. Though she did admit, I would not have necessarily picked her as perfect for Harry so it just goes to show that chemistry is unpredictable. Harry and Meghan announced their engagement in November 2017. They were married in May 2018 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. On May 6 this year, they welcomed their first child. Harry is currently sixth in the line to the throne. He was born third, but the births of his brother Prince William's three children has pushed him down. Archie is thus seventh. In 2015, Ms. Asprey wrote The Very British Rules of Dating, How to Find and Keep the Perfect Gentleman, and Yes They Do Exist, it is currently rates 4.5 stars by Amazon customers. Mega snub I wouldn't have picked Meghan Markle for Prince Harry, says World's Best Matchmaker. A woman who has been labeled the world's best matchmaker has said she wouldn't have picked Meghan Markle for Prince Harry if he had been one of her clients. Speaking to Hello! Magazine Laura Asprey, head of UK dating agency Apri Introduction, claimed she put the feelers out to bag the royal bachelor. The professional Cupid, who has previously claimed she can find anyone a dream date if they have £9,000 to spend, told the magazine, We have friends in common and I had lots of people for him. Then he was introduced to Meghan. Someone else got there first. Although the couple said they wanted to protect their matchmaker's privacy in their engagement interview in November 2018, it is rumored that fashion designer Mishinanu was the one who introduced the pair. Despite believing that Meghan and Harry are great together, Laura admitted that she wouldn't have set them up on a date herself. She continued, I would not have necessarily picked her as perfect for Harry so it just goes to show that chemistry is unpredictable. Had I met her I'd have seen it because they're great together. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex first me in 2016 when they were set up on a blind date by a mutual friend. Violet von Westenholtz, who is the daughter of Prince Charles' friend and Olympic skier Baron Piers von Westenholtz, is another one of Meghan and Harry's rumored matchmakers and is also suspected to be Archie's godmother. In more royal family news, the Queen has made an unusual effort to welcome Meghan Markle as she doesn't want her to feel alienated like Princess Diana, a royal commentator has claimed. And Meghan Markle should be a lady, not a hustler according to controversial Lady Colin Campbell during her Good Morning Britain appearance. Plus the Queen plans to fund £500,000 Sandringham repairs with her own cash after the taxpayers paid for Harry and Meghan's £2.4 million cottage upgrade.